back guys in this video we fix his hopefully with a chain henry is currently fixing his still and zach is on top of the hill waiting for us to come and fix his brake line will we get out of here in one piece will we be stuck in the desert forever which i probably wouldn't really care to be honest with you will we find somewhere to sleep tonight you're gonna have to watch this video and find out Can you go under the box? I don't know what you mean by that. Oh my god, watch your face, I'm gonna let this go. Okay. You have to go. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, hey, give me it. You know, how are you to watch your own face? Uh, yeah, watch, watch your face. There we go. Don't oh, worry. Oh, under it, that's yes. what you mean. Okay. Yes. Uh, we were able to um, find a bolt on the, a bracket on the side of the engine that we could put um, a chain under and it got a little bit longer of a bolt. Thanks to Henry and his box of tricks there. Um, and then we wrapped it around the frame rail, kind of near to where this um, steering box is. So hopefully that'll limit the movement enough for us to get uh, off the trail and maybe even home. We'll see. So we made it up out of there. Uh, luckily, that was actually a that was a pretty rough trail. I mean, it wasn't like crazy, but it was uh, by far probably the the hardest stuff we've done on this trip. Uh, everyone got through it without a problem. Keith's uh, chain around his motor so far is working pretty good. Uh, Henry tightening up his lower control arm seemed to work perfectly. All of his noises are gone, obviously. We still have to deal with Zach's brake line. Uh, we're gonna try to get out of here. To, to fix it. We might head back out to Moab. We're only, I don't know, 30 miles from Moab. So we might head out to there and try to fix it there. I'm not really sure what the plan is yet, but we still have a heck of a lot of driving to get out of this canyon area. Uh, I filmed coming in, so there's really no point in filming coming out. It's gonna look the exact same, but backwards. Um, so we'll catch you guys whenever we probably figure out where we're going tonight. Until then, we'll catch you in a bit. stop's gonna be Moab. We did about 70 miles back there on these trails in the last two days. Guys, if you come out in this area, check out Onion Creek Trail. It is amazing. You have a blast going down through the canyons. You can camp way out there. Guys, you definitely need to do it. Check it out. We're gonna get aired up and we're gonna head down into Moab and try to find somewhere to camp tonight. Like I said, I think we're gonna try to shoot for a KOA. I haven't had a shower in I don't know, four or five days, a real shower. We're looking forward to that. Maybe swim in a pool maybe later. I don't know. We'll see you guys.
brightest light ever. So it appears that they're looking for, I'm assuming, falling rocks. There's a construction vehicle ahead of us with an extremely bright light. This camera's not doing it justice. First little shower in days. So I just got a shower and now I'm making some Velveeta liquid gold. Good morning guys. Welcome to another day out in Moab. Today, me and Zach cooked delicious breakfast. How's your bacon coming? It's bacon in the game. This is an awesome breakfast. Bacon, egg, cheese on a tortilla. All right, we ate, we're clean, we're well rested. Now we gotta go fix Zach's brake line. There is a Napa right down the road in Moab that we are gonna head to. We're gonna get that fixed up. We're gonna replace the line from the very front to the very back so it doesn't happen again. And then I'm not really sure what we're gonna do after that. So we need to fix that rotted out underneath its coating. So we basically just ripped this section out. Can't leave it in the road. And our uh, bending a new one, it won't look as pretty as a factory one, but it also won't leak like the factory one. Now you're gonna pinch my finger as soon as you grab that. I'm not okay. gonna pull it. Yes, you are. I'm, I'm just holding okay, it. Okay, pull it a little. All right, careful. Easy, my hands in here. IT fingers, man. We're gonna beef those things up in no time, Keith. Don't you worry. That's good. We're gonna beef those little IT fingers I think up. You'll really have these. Well, no, I'm not. You're going under that one. Right? Probably under both of those. Yeah. Let me just backseat drive this line. Is <laughs> yeah. Stop backseat back seat driving my line. Yeah. You need to take a left at the brake booster hose. <laughs> this is actually true. <laughs> it's, the AC wait, it's my right though. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's my yeah, you messed here. up here. Once you see the AC condenser line, you've gone too far. Yeah. You have to go where the old good. brake line used to be and make a left. <laughs> okay, now I'm where I want to be. I'm going to get this all in here and then we'll bend it everywhere. I fixed a lot of brake lines. I have a mechanic from Pennsylvania. <laughs> So, it even clipped yeah. itself in. Look at that. Yeah. It's already happy. It's a damn bubble flare down in there. And I made a double flare. Standard flare. Stupid Nissan. Ew, no, it's a bubble in there. Yeah. yeah. Is what? It, is it bubble in one end and double? Oh, in that's stupid. <laughs> that's dirty as that is. I just made a perfect flare. And a nice bend. Well, thankfully, thankfully, is a bubble flare is just one less step than a double pretty flare. Pretty much, but I already heard it done. Is it, uh, is it bubble on both ends? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. You might want to check. Cut the cutter, please. I would think they Nothing like making your brand new perfect flare and showing off to your friends your bending skills just to find out it's not the right one because it didn't look in the first place. So that's a, that's a good fitting. Um, look at this one. Does that one back. go on to? <laughs> it's a toy. Oh. I'm winning. Oh. I'm winning. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I put two fittings on because Jesse's like, don't forget the fitting. I was like, oh, yeah, let me put another fitting on there. Just because, well, two's better than none, right? You can make it work with two fittings, but you can't make it work with none. <sighs> I'm trying to not, like, make it ugly, but, you know, I'm trying. But someone had to get the 50 foot thick steel line because they made a muscle. Zach. Yeah, with your meat clubs, maybe. God dang. Get yeah, yeah. mm. this one. Get this one. Happy birthday. Yeah. Nissan work. Yeah. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, September 11th is this man's birthday. This is his birthday gift. Yeah, a broken exterior. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's, it's nice because it just keeps giving. You just keep unwrapping problems. It's quite the gift. <laughs> Hello. 
Let me give it away till you're done, man. Is it attached to something? Oh, I'm bleeding it right here. Keith, I already got it pumping out. finally have brakes again for now we'll see how long that lasts but it stops ish more brake line for the rest of it all right so we're gonna wrap up here and then i think we're gonna try to go and do fins and things next is our our next adventure that we're gonna try to do sounds like a pretty easy trail and we haven't broke anything serious enough yet yeah you're right Man, i want to snap like a knuckle in half <laughs> Yeah, yep. It's supposed to be a little more uh, mild, less aggressive, because we've had enough breakdowns. Yeah, supposedly. We don't know, though. Now, there's supposed to be some harder stuff on there. We'll see what we can do. We also have a buddy from back home, which we haven't seen, man, for probably six years. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, he's going to come out and do some photography with us. He's going to ride with Keith. And then later on tonight, we're meeting up with another buddy from back home, which we haven't seen in... <sighs> I don't Ten even... years? Eight years? Yeah, had to be forever ago, back since our... Uh, back in our drifting days. Yeah. So it's be kind of cool. We're, we're running into people from back home out here. So it'd be kind of good. Yeah, who all spread about. So we're going to end this video right here. The next video is going to be us doing fins and things with some photographers and then camping with our old buddy. It's going to be pretty good. So will his brake line stay together no. or will it explode and come apart again? Yes. You're going to have to find out in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Until next week. So everyone knows the 12th of september is this man's birthday uh, which is tomorrow that's actually the 11th damn it <laughs> okay let's try this again i got brakes again finally and then... damn it Keith. yeah that's fine. zake is at the top without brakes and we're gonna fix the brakes before we can keep going through the desert we're gonna try to find somewhere to sleep i don't just show you next it went to shit